Well, uh, in this video, we explain an example on the short run production possibility set. As we know that the short run is a time period in which at least one factor input remains constant or it is fixed. So in our production possibility set, at least one factor would remain fixed or constrained. Okay, let us assume that the production function is something like, like this. Y is the function of labor and capital. So this is the example of new classical production function because we can see that the number of factor input in this case, uh, in our case, is equal to 2. Okay. Before further discussion, you guys are requested to like this video, subscribe to Show Academy, and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel. So in such state of affair, a production function is something like this, then the production plan should look like this. It is a plan in which output and input are presented. And you can see that both the input labor and capital are having negative sign. It doesn't mean that they are in negative form. Rather, it means that it shows the money output, uh, money uh, outflow. The negative sign implies that payment leakages are payment to the factors of production. So this is some sort of money outflow. And when you produce something, it is a source of money into to the firm. Now, it should be noted that it is, it is a single production plan and there can also be so many other production plan beside this one production plan. Okay, so assume that labor is variable input and capital is constant here, fixed input. So if one variable is variable, the other is fixed, then the short run production possibility set is generated by y of k bar. So this is a production possibility set in which k is constant, right? And it would cons uh, contain a production plan, production plans, y, labor and capital, they must belong to the universal production possibility set such that capital is constant. What does this mean? It should be explained a little bit. It is a production plan, right? Y is output and both these are input. So since we know that K is fixed, the universal production possibility set contains all those production plans which are in short run, which are long run, which are optimal, which are non-optimal. It contains all possible production plans. So this production plan is one of them. But we know that K is fixed. So it should be presented such that the production plan belongs to the universal production set, such that capital is fixed in this production plan. So this is the short run production possibility set. Similarly, we can also uh, present the production function in a standard language, right? Uh, first of all, we should we need to define the production function. What is production function? Production function is nothing else. This is the technical relationship between inputs and output, right? And suppose we assume that if a function is producing a single output, right? And for example, the output is something like this. Y is the function of X. Is a single output and is a vector of vector inputs, right? Then the standard form is f of X is equal to bracket. Output is Y is in real space such that y is the maximum output associated with this much input in the production possibility set this is a production possibility set so it can be presented as production function is equal to y is output in the real space such that y is the maximum output associated with the this factor 
uh, associated with this vector of inputs in the uh, production facility set because this is capital Y and capital Y represents the production possibility set. And again, the negative sign implies that it shows uh, money outlaw or payments to the factors of production. So thank you. Thanks for watching.